It's Bryce Davis on the check-in. You know, this is a real unfortunate situation when you got family members that's stealing from you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I believe Boozy went through this before with his brother. I believe his brother had took some money when he first got out of prison. You know, now to have your own cousin stealing from you and whatnot, you know, it's just real fucked up. You know, I feel like uh, for the most part, I'm sure a lot of y'all been through that. I've been through it, you know, to a way lesser extent. But, you know, when it's happened to me, it always comes from a nigga that you already see it coming from. So, you know, it's no soccer surprise type shit. You know, ain't nothing too big, though. You know what I mean? But, you know, in Boozy situation, uh, he had people around him promising artists verses for 10 grand. And they was basically just taking their 10 grand and not getting the verse for it. So Boozy over there like, yo, what are you talking about? Whenever a dude run up on him, like, yo, what's up with that verse you supposed to send type shit? And that's real fucked up, too, because, you know, he could put Boozy in a crazy situation that, you know, he don't even know about type shit. So... You know, I just think it's real fucked up. And what's real crazy about all this is I'm sure his cousin would have made way more money just by staying loyal with the nigga. Like, think about it. If you're standing next to a man, let's say he's a millionaire and he's putting you in position to get your own stacks and you decide to, you know, owe 10 grand run off and now you can't ever go back to that millionaire and that puts you in position to make your own money. In the long run, that shit wasn't even worth it. But at the end of the day, you know, karma works how it's supposed to work. You know, you reap what you sow, as they say. And of course, you know, if you relate, let me know in the comments. And if you like the videos, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, all that. And I'm out. Hey boy, nigga, you know what you stole, nigga. What you think started all this TBG shit? You and Lil' Mel. Nigga, y'all act like y'all could get a verse from me. Took 10,000 from a nigga. Come on, man. You took 10,000 from a nigga. A nigga come back a year later and ask me, what my, what my verse at? Nigga, you started all this shit. You and LeMail. Come on, man. Only thing is, I ain't catch you yet, nigga. You know what it is, man. Come on, man. Y'all was full of H, man. You thought you had a free 10 grand, cuz. Let's keep it real, nigga. You know you not like that, hat. Come on, man. Let's keep it real, man. Lemel confess. Lemel say, man, I big dog. I did that. I can't take that back. Nigga. Yeah, you took, nigga. You told him you could bring a verse. You could go get a verse. He gave you the 10,000, nigga. He gave you the money. He gave y'all the money. Y'all was thugging and drugging, man. Take your fucking lick. And nigga, you ain't never do nothing to make no money off no song. What you did? You ain't never do nothing.